What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0, and this was a big fucking war. Uh, this was the one and two clans going at it, CWL week five action. Um, Ainz, Japanese clan, they were ranked number one, uh, we were ranked number two. Uh, there's a handful of uh, 4 0 clans. I'm actually gonna hop over, I hadn't looked really much at the war match uh, for the league, uh, I was just sort of glancing. I think it might be sort of interesting to take a peek at that, so we're going to. But what a war! I mean, on both sides, we had struggles, it was sort of back and forth. Um, I'll sort of talk about it as we go through the recap here, uh, kind of how I watched the war progress. Um, but one of those fantastic ones, uh, uh, the boys up top really came through. Uh, it was kind of a game of dips uh, in this war, and the lack of dip fails was really what uh, brought us to the victory. 74-72, Ainz, great war, uh, fantastic. 2.0, lose to 5-0 and on the season. Uh, absolutely ecstatic about that. I need a little recap juice, and you know what? I got a few things we got to talk about here. <clears throat> First of all, Cheers, because, oh, we're going to move that over there, of course, I don't know, move that, so wait, a little wisers, take a little wisers here, because, wow, I don't know how I got any work done today, I actually worked from 8 to 5, I worked from 12 to 9 last night, uh, kind of hopped on a bit of a stream, but I wasn't really, put a lot of folks on the stream, I was planning my attacks, uh, a bunch of us were on uh, DC, Going through the bases, talking about a bunch of stuff. So if you caught me on Twitch, then that's awesome. I'm really trying to get my uh, YouTube followers to sort of jump over and uh, follow Twitch. So if you have not done, it is below. Just go on Twitch, search O H Labs, O H L A B S. Uh, please give me a follow. I'm gonna. I'm really starting to try to get that ramped up, uh, especially for at least the weekly CWLs. Uh, I generally at least get three, four hours at night. I like to jump on. A lot of the clan mates jump on. Um, even if we're just chatting in DC, I get music on, we watch the attacks, it's uh, it's a good time. So uh, please give me a follow on Twitch. And if you've been watching my YouTube channel at all, uh, you know I'm sort of a variety gamer. I play a lot of Diablo 3 and play a lot of PUBG. Um, I did, and probably now my finger, and for those of you who also want to see my finger, is straight again. That's awesome. I can bend it. It's cool. Uh, got this stupid cast off, so I can really start playing my first-person shooters again. I was in a CSGO a lot as well, but anyways, guys, please, follow me. I'm going to be streaming a lot. Um, get that notification on Twitch. It's going to help out a lot. Information down below. Um, but uh, let's, uh, let's talk about... CWL rising right now. Uh, I'm going to hop on over. You know what? I'm going to do this first. And then this. So I was looking at this. Um, so this is the league standings. Uh, Ainz ranked number one, 4 and 0. Oh. This is obviously prior to this week. One uh, I 2.0, oh, 4 and 0. Oh. Uh, so really, there's a handful of clans that were 4 and 0. Oh. Um, but looking down the ranks, uh, you can see, uh, I was interested, I wonder what happened here, this, uh, this war, maybe someone can tell me, um, uh, I don't follow a lot, uh, forfeited match, win for Dark Looters, not sure what happened with Sons of War, um, uh, but you can see the Sneaky Bastards were one, I don't know, they are four and one, uh, maybe it logged it, I don't know, maybe they're going four and two, that's interesting, then a couple clans have an extra match logged already, but whatever. Uh, where else were we? Do, 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 um, Perfect Wars takes a loss. Uh, they were one that was 4-0. Uh, Sanya loses to CWC Brawlers, or at least, well, maybe not. They have two attacks. Again, I don't really, I'm not going to be clicking in and looking into the details of this stuff, but 28 minutes to go for them. Looks like they might lose to CWC Brawlers. They might fall to 4-1. Uh... Alpin Libby, or however you say it, uh, was as well the ranked number four clan against uh, Omega Labs. Looks like they uh, have taken a loss, so they fall to four and one, so they're going to drop a little bit. Only the Brave uh, might pull off a win, so this might be the only other five and O clan. Predominance has, it looks like three attacks remaining, but it doesn't say, some of them say battle day with time. This one has nothing, so I'm really not sure what's going on there. Uh, El Conquistador are taking down, it looks like, potentially Knights Templar. There's another one of the 4-0 clans falling with a loss. 
Uh, I think that was most of them. So potentially only the Brave and One Hive 2.0 might be the only five known clans. We'll have to see sort of what happens uh, over the next uh, 24 hours, how that all gets updated. But guys, awesome. Super pumped. A uh, few things. I got home last night at 9 o'clock. Uh, that was maybe four hours into battle day. I walked up. Through, uh, got out of my car, walked up to the front door, and lo and behold, I had ordered some stuff. And this awesome one I've hoodie I had ordered came in. And I'm going to back up a little bit here. You guys got to check out the back. Back's awesome. I hope I get a good view of that. That is freaking unbelievable. I got a black just sort of pullover one or gray sort of pullover one that I like as well. And this one hadn't came yet. Um, and this was the one I was looking forward to because I like the zip up hoodie. Um, I mean, I, I wear a lot of hoodies, especially because winter's coming. And anyone who's, who knows Canada in winter, it's not fun. You're wearing sweaters at all times, even though I live in the most southern point of Canada. So, really, you can't call where I live Canada. In fact, if you ask Mouthpiece, the old 2.0 leader, he wouldn't consider any of Ontario Canada. But, anyways, uh, I walked in, I saw that sitting in, in the mail. I was coming home to fly my attacks, coming home to fire up the stream. And I'm like, it's a sign. It's a sign. We're going to win this war. It, I, this was all meant to be. Let's do it. Let's go, boys. Um, so I was sort of following. as a Friday night at work. We got absolutely cranked. But I got home and sort of updated me with the war. And we started pretty poorly. Um, our town hall nights even had a few struggles. Even though they did get the job done, they got it all cleaned up. So I was good. Uh, but I think our Town Hall 10s, I'm pretty sure we were 1-9 in nine for our first hits. And it was it, looking a little dicey at first. So I'm like, fuck it. Let's go. Let's get this stream going. Let's get people a voice. Let's hype it up. We're going to win this war. I don't care. I don't care how we're starting off. I started watching uh, some of the Ainz attacks, and they were making some fails too. So, I mean, it's not like we were right out right off the bat. Um I jumped in actually, and I think we had one. Uh, let me look at the war details here. So war events all the way down. Da, 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 da. Where were we? All right. So see the way it started off. So we did. Lay jumps in, t t um, takes care of a couple of those nines. We had a tunnel nine miss. King jumped in a miss. Uh, they uh, had a scout, or just got sort of the two star and our twelve right off the hop. I guess that's sort of this tactic. That's Obviously, you know, that's our tactic as well. You want their town all 10. Make sure you secure those uh, two stars, but they get it done like instantly, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Iggy went in, got the three star. They started three star. These are all town lines. And then this is a, I believe this is the first 10 v 10. They uh, jumped in on Demon, our lowest tier town all 10, and took care of business. Then they had a miss, another town all nine. Neon jumped in on against their one of their low town hall, uh, low tier town all 10s. Got our first 10 v 10 of the war. Uh, they had a 10 miss predator for the two star. Obviously, when you're sending your 10s up, and especially when you're sending your 10s that early, you want to make sure they're securing that two star, which they did not. King with the 94 miss, that was a little scary. And then all of a sudden, Pig jumps in and misses 10 v 10. Pig jumps in. Pig's one of our Pig's one of our best attackers and uh, misses two. So that we were like, oh man, not a great start, but it is what it is. Going to miss sometimes. Uh, Scorpion, obviously, a lot of you probably guys probably know Scorpion uh, from 1.0 and whatnot. Uh, he jumps in and misses. Diesel gets a 99% on the town all nine action. Erickson, one of our best attackers, uh, jumps in and misses as well. Piggy's missing a town all nine. And things three and a half hours in, our scary Eric goes in and misses. I don't think Eric has gone a war ever since I've been back without one 10v10. So things ran a little dicey, right? And you're going to kind of see this go on. Then they started having some misses. They weren't really getting success right off. So my boy Tanu jumps in and it's his, you know, first, uh, gets one of the first really good three stars because, uh, you know, I'm not saying the, the low tiers, but low tiers are obviously a little bit easier at those town. Uh, sorry, uh, level one Inferno Towers. But Tanu jumps in on 11, gets a three star. Diesel cleans it up, 22. Limey cleans it up. So, uh, but then, uh, oh, and then, uh, and then that was it. And then good old Wiser gets fresh three. And I was so pissed off. Me and Tanu looked for that base for a long time, sniped it off a stream that was like barely shown. It had a lot of defense. I tweaked it. I thought it was looking good. 
So, let's get a message from the girl I want to see tonight. Uh, anyways, um, and then I got a fresh three. Like, are you kidding me? Wojo goes in and misses. And we're like, man, what is happening? So, I was home by now. And I think after Wojo was there, other than Neon's hit on that low tier, we had that one three star by Tanu. And I think we were like one for nine or something. Um, so I was planning and I jumped in and nailed it. And I was, I was so pumped. This is my first day, uh, first CWL award since I've been back. I was super excited that I got picked to be on the roster. Um, and so I stepped up and took care of business. So you can sort of see the war go on, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? It's back and forth and a lot of misses. Great base building on both sides, I got to say. Um, a lot of near misses, but just one of those wars. Fight to the finish. Absolutely awesome. Uh, so let's just jump in, and we're going to watch some attacks. Oh, a few things, actually. Sorry. One. Not a few things. I got to – I got to – we got to start watching attacks. But um, I was going to say uh, I'm really pissed off because me and Erickson, uh, some of you, not all of you, but I did have the video ready. I don't know what happened. Me and Erickson did an awesome video um, together. We're gonna do a attack style breakdowns and sort of maybe trying to resurrect the Slay My Base series. And I had, we had a it was like nailed video. I thought it was great. Everything was good. I swear on the original copy, everything seemed fine. And then when I sort of edited it and made it into a movie and put it out, for some reason, Erickson is like mouse level quiet and it, I'm so angry. I took the video down. However, we're gonna fig we're gonna figure it out and and continue with that. So slay my base is for surely gonna be a thing again. I would like you guys please send the bases. I'm gonna put my email down below. Send me your town hall ten bases. I'm gonna build them. Me and Erickson are gonna get on. We're gonna break them down. We're going to attack them live FC. And I think that was a really popular series. It's just fun to do. You know, when I get an afternoon, I get an hour or two. Me and Erickson are just gonna kind of get together, go over the base figure it out whatever but please check that out it is coming i took the video down because it fucking sucked i was so pissed off when it uh well i went live with it and then i because i didn't for some reason i didn't watch the final copy i, I thought it was all gravy and eric semester was like man you can't even hear me I'm like oh my god so i took it down i was pissed off anyways uh so some sort of interesting stuff this war we're gonna watch neon this was the first three star obviously the uh level one infernos a little easier to deal with, right? But regardless, still, like with base designs, it doesn't necessarily mean automatic three. Um, with against when Neon's attacking, yeah, you know, Waves just absolutely crushes it. Just gonna go ahead, get the flank going on either side. The very classic witches with healers both on either side. Just let that funnel get created. Send a bunch of bowlers in, send that wall wrecker in. Go straight path to the town hall. Now, what we uh, what we notice on a few of the bases is when you get these sort of spread out inferno towers with the town hall on that backside, um, it allows your wall wrecker to sort of engage the infernos one at a time. So you get really good value, right? You don't have to worry about freezing. You don't have to worry about anything. So you're going to see a bunch of bowlers pop out and a rage go down with a heal spell. There she goes. Maybe a touch far on that heel, but just in time. Saves a few of the bowlers. They're going to step up, take care of the expo. Queen's going to step up, get value out of that rage as well now as well. Jump spell, unlocking things for the back end. King and a shit ton of bowlers walk around. I don't think she meant for those to go around. But really, um, you know, these uh, lower level or town hall nine defenses, then you'll see in most town hall tens. Uh, it's just way too much. There's a cannon, a couple mortars, and a Tesla to go. Waves coming in and crushing it like a boss. Because she is the boss. Sexy. Right, Dan. A couple guys had six packs. You know what? There's a bit of a TSN turning point. It wasn't necessarily Dan's tax, but Dan came in late. Um, one of our last title tends to go. And again, it was a struggle. Like we were getting a few here and a few there. And then like we had a couple guys step in and just take care of a couple bases. And it just made it so, uh, so they were so clutch, right? And I'm backing this up actually, okay? I was actually going to do maybe a cleanup episode because I attacked this base. This is my second attack. Um, 
And this was the exact same idea. And Erickson and I were talking about it. And I was sort of all over the map. So I had the stream going. I was trying to plan. We were looking at like eight different bases. And I liked this one. I liked it a lot. Now, uh, you're going to sort of see this entry, how he drops it. Which is here. Which is there. Healers. Got the frozen seven uh, freezes. Main thing was there's giant bombs we knew between the gold storages and the mortars. So we didn't want the, the with all the, the bomb tower there and all the point defense, did not want the witches walking into those traps. Um, and we want a good push with the wall wrecker because we watched the first attack on the base and the wall wrecker made it like at least to here with no freezes. Um, so we're going to back this up and watch my fail. How does that sound? Watch how bad I am. Well, there it was. Yep. Boom. All right. So you're going to see very similar entry. So... My problem was I was in my head. I don't know why. I, I knew I was going to save uh, two witches for either side of this funnel. So I could get a lot of skellies in and a lot of stuff just sort of helping the wall rider, helping the kill squad get through. And then basically leaving five witches with healers on either side. I dropped them really low because I sort of wanted them to go around and kind of let the skellies go in, uh, in there and take care of business. But I don't. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I did it. I dropped all seven witches. I've done this attack so many times. And I'm generally dropping all the witches together. So I didn't. And you're going to... Sorry. And you see how quickly this wall wrecker goes down. I use the freezes and my wall wrecker gets burst. I do not even get into that core. Looking ugly at this point. I don't even drop the rage and the heal because I don't even know what to do at this point. Finally, I do figure I'll just drop it. And the bowlers sort of walk around. Nothing goes in the core. Queen locks on the lab down. Obvious fail. Shitty deal, Wiser. Because I think I could have had a six pack. If I just taken a couple of the witches on either side and moved them in. That was the plan. And I didn't do it. And I'm an idiot. And I'm pissed off. But you're going to see Dan execute perfectly. I don't know if Dan... I was, again, I was working down to this today. I don't know if Erickson told him that because that was the plan originally. Um, or if he just did it himself. But uh, I'm sure one of them will tell me after watching this video. But you're going to see the exact what I said. Five witches. Five witches. He actually sort of drops only four witches on our side with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six going in with the kill squad and this wall wrecker. Exact same army comp. I don't know what to say. Pretty much the same entry, just executed a little bit better. Wall Wrecker's going to get in there, do its thing, open things up. See all these witches go in. Still has five freezes. Look how far this Wall Wrecker gets. It hasn't even been touched. Barely been touched, I should say. Crank this brutal fan. This is my attack. This is what I wanted to do, and I could have done it. If I just, I don't know why, I, I, so mad, so mad, but you're going to see, boom, it gets to that, and that's what I said, when I was, I'm like, I bet I can get that wall right out of that far compartment, and Eric said, yeah, you better bring a few witches to make sure there's skellies in there, taking, taking some of the point defense hits, and you have no problem, and then I didn't drop the witches there, I don't know why, but you're going to see this base get absolutely wrecked by Dan here. It's got to take care of those backside point defenses. This expo is a little bit of a nuisance outside of the wall on the 9 o'clock position, but no big deal. There's barely any health on this expo. Still has a swag freeze to go. It's got to take care of that trash. Move on in. as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 witches and his queen, plus ability, plus a freeze. Dan crushes it. Nice job, buddy. Uh, what else? Demon. The Damon going in with his Lalo here. Uh, what does he do here? I don't remember. He's going from six, I believe. Oh no, he drops it. He dro I think he drops the heroes here at nine o'clock. I don't know why he ended up dropping the loon there. That was kind of interesting. But drops the queen on the town hall, gets it working on it right away. Drops the king in to do some tanking. No trash here, right? So you know these heroes are just going to walk down this side. Queen, um, defensive queen is going to target the stuff on the outside. He drops those wall breakers because he wanted his queen to obviously wander in, maybe take care of the inferno and take care of specifically the defensive queen. She doesn't go in, but doesn't need to. 
Let me see this in a moment. She locks on my wizard tower. Go ahead, hit the ability. I might have waited one more second, but it doesn't matter. Takes out a defense queen. That was the important part with this Lilo coming in. Goes ahead and drops a couple loons in while they have a moment to get uh, gain some distance. While the uh, Inferno was locked on the queen. Really wants the queen to die. Does not want that out of burst. Lalo CC and Suicide Heroes is perfect for that CC comp. Uh, drops a haste, doesn't quite get those loons in at first, but then drops almost everything back from six. Blimp in from three, and then a few more balloons in behind. Nice haste spells, big rage value in that core. Another haste spell to push everything in. Just got to get up to 12 o'clock here now. Still has a heal and a haste. There goes, there goes a haste for the clump of balloons. Beautiful. Push everything in. Get right on top of that air defense. Drop that heal spell. Protect against that multi-inferno now. Uh, Might have overlapped it a bit. Um, it's a little bit scarier that wizard tower beating on it for far too many balloons. Down goes the wizard tower. Down goes everything else. See you later, cannon. Baby D ends up bursting the hound, but takes care of all the pups. Don't matter. Three in the bag for demon. Boom. See, here is Demon's other three star. Similar attack is bringing uh, 11 minis on this one. No baby D. Uh, very similar uh, spells, but an extra heal on this one, I believe. And a scout spell. So nice little uh, giant board bounce. Make sure that uh, Arch Tower gets taken out of the way. A bit a little costly, right? I mean, you end up spending 17 troop space to basically get uh, a funnel going on this side. Wants to walk the uh, the queen and king down this side. Goal here: get these two air defense out of the way. You can get the two air defense out of the way using a giant, two bowlers, king and queen. That's a pretty good deal. And then he's got two lava hounds and the blimp, obviously full of balloons. So looking good. Queen's going to step up, take care of air defense number one. Hit that king ability, clear out all that trash. Queen's going to have to hit that ability right now. She's going to walk on over. Down goes air defense number two. Things are looking pretty solid at this point because he's going to go ahead and target the Inferno Tower with that set of balloons there. Blimp goes in first. Hound goes in second. He's going to think of drop a haste spell over top of this Inferno because he does want this air defense to go down. And then that Hound to path over and help with the air defense over at 9 o'clock, which it does perfectly. Down goes the second air defense. And this Hound still has a fair amount of health to help move these balloons to the base. Keep in mind, he's got the, the backup balloons with all the blimp balloons on this backside with no air defense structures really to worry about. So they're just doing so much damage over there you gotta keep in mind when you know at the end of your lalo like look there's only arch tower now and tesla to go and you still have those max balloons out of your blimp you know you've done a good job with your lalo just a matter of cleanup now at this point demon absolutely smashes this one i love it nice job buddy lowest town hall lowest tier town hall 10 getting her done for us love it hmm So, what else we got? Veggie Boy going in with the Hoggies. This is his standard attack. Uh, I was questioning when he doesn't use his Hogs because he's just, he's so good with them. And, you know, you watch these guys, they almost have sort of their signature attacks, though. They're, they're good at other attacks, too, but for some reason, they just, it is what it is. They know, they know what to do. They look for certain things. Um, and, you know, he gets his funnel going here very quickly. A couple Giants in early. Golem in behind, make sure we preserve a little bit of health on that. Wall Wrecker in behind all that stuff. He's going to get walked right into the core of this base and take care of the defensive queen, take care of a bunch of stuff on this entry. His king goes for a bit of a walk, but I think that was a mainly intentional because he really doesn't need the king to win there. Ideally, the king's doing cleanup on all of this side of the base. You can see how this works out in a moment. Hound and Loon coming to the CC, but no big deal. Poison is down. Now, Queen did not lock on to Lava Hound, which I thought was perfect. The Hound sort of moved away just in time. And you see the Rage come down. Valks pop out of the Wall Wrecker. Lock on that defensive Queen. Take it down right away. Queen's going to step up, finish off that IT. Down it goes, and down the Queen goes, but no big deal. King, like I said, is now taking all of the 3 to 12 section out. And who's got a lot for the Hawks? V-shape, like I talk about quite often. 
But a couple expos, point events at 12. Obviously, there's Inferno, but with the with uh, two more heals now. Then he drops one over top here. Yeah, there she goes. Make sure the logs are protected from that wizard tower. Single target Inferno is going to try and do some work, but it does not stand a chance. And no more splash damage. That's the other thing. Uh, loses a few hogs to that uh, that bomb. See, there's a little gap in there, so they weren't quite healed. Does lose a few. But other than that, it doesn't matter. It's still far too many. Down goes the ARD, down goes the Expo, and the last couple point defense has a couple cleanup balloons, which I thought was interesting. Veggie Boy, crushing it, Wizards around the base. See you later. Sexy. <clears throat> All right. JPW. What's up with this guy? It's a little weird showing your own attack sometimes, but uh, I was proud of this one. My first CWL hit since I've been back. Frozen Witch, I've been practicing it a lot. It just gets such good value. See these healers just keep this clump of witches on either side. I saw this base right away, and again, like I was saying in that earlier attack, the linear infernos, you're going to sort of engage them one at a time. And huge funnel. The other thing is that air defense accessible. Other than that, uh, that air defense uh, accessible as well. And these two core ones are going to go down to this kill squad very quick. So uh, poison down, right? You're going to see me sort of freeze the Inferno and the, kills, uh, and the clan castle, sorry. And I double freeze because I hate Valks. They just seem to shred my wall wrecker. So I just want to make sure those were dead. Sure thing they are. And another one down over top the Expo, Bomb Tower, and the Queen mainly. Uh, I think I get one down over the Queen and Expo here again. And one more heal and a rage. Not one more heal, but a heal and a rage. With those bowlers popping on out. They're going to do big damage. Basically take care of all the stuff that's in the core. And then everything else is left for... Um, for the kill squad, uh, or sorry, for the flanking witches. And unfortunately, I do lose the rest of my uh, 12 o'clock witches to that bomb and such, but it doesn't really matter. I still have, I'm looking down here at this point, I'm like, oh, it's still salvageable. I got two freezes, got that queen ability going. This last expo is about to go down. Got one, two, three, four, I believe, witches. The two main thing was the two healers going on them as well, and the queen getting in there. Nice little freeze, get all three of those, air, uh, all three of those defenses going. About to hit that ability, I believe, or do I conserve it? Yeah, I hit it. Gotta hit it, just make sure. She's gonna step up, take care of that cannon. Down she goes. Nice, the fact that the king beat through that wall as well was nice. That early freeze down over the air defense. Make sure that mortar goes down, you allow these witches to, it doesn't even matter. If my queen died there, it wouldn't matter. These witches have been would have been enough to get through the rest of this base. They had access to everything. Beautiful, I'm so pumped when I got this. Absolutely. That's wiser with the three star. Right. A little dip. Tanu. Love this guy. He loves the suicide Lalos. And you're gonna see why. Goes ahead. Nice, nice value on that one balloon. Draws the red mine and the black mine. Uh, just to obviously let his blimp get in there with a lot of health. And take this whole 12 o'clock compartment. You're gonna see this in a moment. Down goes the Inferno. Down goes the Expo. Move on over. The sweeper even sort of helps to get to take care of that arch tower. Perfect. Okay. So he's already sort of created this, uh, got rid of this top section. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and suicide the heroes in. Make sure this baby D goes down, obviously. That is super important at this point. Freeze go or sorry, the poison goes down. Down goes the baby D. Queen's going to step up. I get a little bit more value. I believe she gets the air D and the two, maybe two Teslas and the arch tower out of the way. Down goes the arch tower. Things looking good. Already getting his mains down to a cleanup on this old, whole section of base that is uh, undefended. Hits that ability. Down goes the air defense. Don't think he quite gets the Tesla. No. But no big deal. Comes in from 12, and here come the blues. Nice little hay spell. Really just wants to see. There's no defenses. Everything's going to sort of move down towards the 9, and then move back over towards uh, the sort of 4 o'clock position. Haste everywhere. Rage goes down on top of that queen. Does drop that poison, or sorry, the skelly spell early. I've done that 
countless times, but he's got those minis in there and the minis took care of the queen. But you're gonna see all these uh, skellies in there. They're trying to just beat on that wall. They were trying to get that queen. Uh, Expo goes down, leaves things up. Nice heal spell on the back end for that last remaining wizard tower. And honestly, the only thing they target those balloons is the arch tower that just went down. Tanu, absolutely crushing it. Beautiful. Message me on DC. Let's just check this. It's not that good. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, Dan with his six packs. Like I said, Dan came in late in the war and put up this six pack with two different hits. Uses the uh, the bitch on hogs on this one. Uh, really liked it. About 9v9. Yep. So spreads uh, spreads the golems and gets a normal fallen golem, gets the wall wrecker, and it seems like such a standard like go hobo and nothing too crazy about it. The shattered go hobo, two golems into and tank it, let the wall wrecker get you as far as possible and just hog around the circle. You can see this transpire here. The freeze misses a little bit. He did get the inferno, but he could have easily got the uh, expo as well. Doesn't really matter. Boom, out come Bowler, or sorry, the Valks from the Wall Wrecker. And what I liked about this hit was all those Valks, like the balloon is chasing this crap down here. And you're going to see these four Valks, and they clean up like this entire side of the base because he sends the Hogs in first, and they take care of all the defenses. And the Valks are just sort of walking around doing clean up the entire time. So absolutely ends up smashing this one. Has two more heals in the bag for really what? Four or five point defense at the end. They are quite spread out. So he's going to have to sort of heal both here. But he doesn't even need both. This balloon is trying so hard to catch them. And it just can't. Has the single hog trigger the bomb over there. Doesn't matter. He's under a heal. Down goes the Tesla. Mortar. And one more Tesla to go. Goodbye, and it's cleanup time. <laughs> You're going to see this balloon in the passport. Watch this. It's like, oh, well, well, I, I, I'm going to get, uh, well, what, uh, oh, you guys stopped. Yeah, dead, dead, dead. Ha <laughs> ha. I did my job. Oh, wait. There's still a Valk and a few hogs. <laughs> Three in the bag for Dan. Nice six pack, buddy. Fucking clutch. Absolute clutch in this war. Uh, so I think I only got two more. I got this one. This is our only 11 v 11. Again, this war was crazy defends on both sides and dip defends. I'm talking like it was it was interesting. Um, actually, after this attack by war, I also want to show one thing that pissed us off. We would have had one more 10 v 10. Absolutely. If it weren't for the wall record glitch. I don't know if this has ever happened to you in any sort of actual war, especially not like a competitive league play war. Uh, however, uh, Warble, we had both of our number eights, our number eight and their number eight had the same base. They were turned from each other. They weren't the same. One was facing this way and one was facing that way, but they're the same layouts. So random, so crazy. And we both held off on both sides because we're like, you know, well, let's just let, let them attack it and show us how to three-star it. Well, we were friendly challenging it, obviously. Uh, so we had our own ideas, but we're like, well, let's just wait, 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 wait. They ended up, because of all the, how it ended up working out, they ended up just dipping it. And they dip failed it, actually, on the first hit. So that was interesting. So they dip failed the base. We said, fuck it. One of our last tunnel 10 minutes, we're like, we got this. We're going to three-star it. Warble went in, and you're going to see the wall record glitched and fucked the whole attack. It, it, it was frustrating. Supercell, fix your goddamn wall, wall records. Um, I actually, on Tanu, has a, or had a base on him. He still has it. I replicated the glitch four times where your wall record just stops and just gets stuck. It just, like, spins its tires. I should be paying attention to Warble's attack right now, but... He just absolutely smashes this. He was so angry from that, uh, from the wall record glitch. He's like, you know what? I'm going to this 11 and I am going to smash it. So it's two uh, haste and a heal for these back end wizard towers. 
Probably could have got this heal down right now. Does get the does get the oh yeah, it does get the heal down. Uh, so perfect, nice little haste. Has a couple expos to go as soon as that wizard tower goes down, which she just does. Expo is the only thing that can defend this, and it ain't gonna happen. See ya later. Nice 11v11 warp. So sorry about that hit on number eight. It was uh, it was rough. Let's actually let's check it out right now. Turn to the end of the war. Eight. Where are you? There's no way. There she is. There she is. So let's actually show you what I'm talking about. Now this wall piece right at three o'clock was what did it. You're gonna see this in a second. Which is healers, which is healers, and oh, what's that wall record doing? Is it beating on that wall? Oh, wait, no, it's just staying there. Like, really super soft. <laughs> just unbelievable. Uh, you're gonna see if this had all went in based on what we had managed in the friendly challenges, this would have absolutely been another 10v10 triple for sure. But unfortunately, it was not. Thanks a lot, Supercell. So we had the war won. We had two star both of these bases with our tens. We had all four of all town hall 12 attacks, and they were done all our attacks with 72. So I mean they left one town hall 11 out there, and that's it. And when they finished at 72, we're like, okay, well, all we need to do since we have the same result on one and two is we just got to make sure we hit our dips. And we did. We had uh, Smash go in. Not going to lie, Smash. <laughs> that attack, I think it was on number four. One of your two attacks. The second one he did was like the one for the win. <laughs> it was looking scary. The clan castle that came out. He missed, sort of misclicked his poison. I don't know what he did. And there was a dragon flying around chasing his Lalo the, pretty much for 50% of the raid. And he had so many balloons left over. He used a clone spell, which is kind of nice. And ended up coming away with three, and that was the victory. So we had the war in the bag, and Predator still had an attack. So why not? Why not get the 12v12 the 12 12 trip? Sexy attack for sure. Probably the sexiest of the war. Predator's going to haste on into that air defense because he wants to drop his queen walk over here. He needs to get that air defense out of the way so he can drop his healers safely. You can see that happen right now. All go the healers. Five healers. Warden, queen. Get that baby D there doing that funnel. Another wizard to help out as well. Wall record goes in, King goes in, create the funnel basically from three to six on the other side. He's gonna basically walk the queen and ward it in right behind this wall wrecker. Doesn't get a lot of value out of the wall wrecker troops here. Um, not exactly sure why. I think maybe it was the baby D. We just see the wall wrecker burst and a bunch of bowlers bounce out and they help or help a little bit, but not a lot. So yeah, they get that one expo. They get the defensive queen and the other expo. So I guess not that bad. They almost get the town hall. But at this point, he's like, yeah, I'm thinking I'm looking pretty good. Queen and Warden are in there. They're about to take out care of the Eagle Cannon and that town hall 12 defense tent. I don't even know what the fuck you call it. But the town hall 12, 12 defense. I don't fucking know. Anyways. Queen's looking good at this point. Her and the Warden are doing their thing. So go ahead and start the Lalo. Nice V-shape. It's a little bit spread out. She's got to kind of spread those balloons. Just work them up to 9 o'clock. You see Haste going all over. Raid spell for this back end Inferno Tower. There she goes. Might be a little preemptive on that Raid spell. Because finally something goes in it. But these balloons are smashed by Wizard Tower. And, oh, somebody's home. Interesting. So you can see this Inferno Tower go down. Down she goes. And interesting part of this attack is all these Teslas on the back end. And the Queen sort of just steps up just in time. So all he has is Puffs at this point. Uh, this was obviously the last time in the world. Like I said, we already added the bag. But at this point, you're like, go, 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 go. And looking good. 
Down she goes. Down goes the Tesla, beautiful, and it's clean up from this point. Predator making the highlight reel again. Predator's actually ranked very high within uh, the rising, um, which is really nice. He's uh, he's definitely, definitely solid, solid, solid attacker. Love this guy. Uh, so, Ains, great war. Uh, I believe that should pull us ahead in the standings. Um, you know, 2.0 is looking good on the season. We're gunning for the playoffs. We're gunning for this whole thing. Uh, I think we can do it. Uh, we got the attackers. We we got the dedication. I see the voice chats. I see all the chats, the planning, and our guys are uh, honestly geared up to geared up to do this. So uh, who knows? We'll have to see. Uh, again, please follow me, OH Labs on Twitch. Uh, I'm going to be trying to stream as much as possible, whether it be all the CWL wars, whether it be just random wars, whether it be just random games. Like I said, I've uh, been streaming sort of a lot of Diablo 2, streaming, uh, or sorry, Diablo 2, which Diablo 2 is so fun, though. Diablo 2 is such a great game, but Diablo 3, and uh, anything else that I started playing, I started getting back in PUBG a little bit, now my fingers healed up a little bit, that's, uh, that's kind of nice, so, uh, anyways, 2.0, love it. And uh, look forward to uh, to next week, uh, week six. I'm not even sure who we have, actually, but um, I guess we will see. And again, I think my schedule works out. I'm pretty sure I'm off on Friday. So I uh, should be streaming right from the beginning. But uh, that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Until next time, guys. I'm out.